In the previous videos we've seen that um, an array of numbers uh, will define for us a transformation of space. Um, so let's just for a second skip back to the time when we were just talking about two by two grids of numbers and transformations of the plane. So suppose we've got two of these two by two matrices A and because at some point I'm going to run out of letters, I'm going to introduce a new notation for the entries of the matrix. Rather than writing A, B, C, D, I'm going to write A11, A12 for the entries on the first row, and A21, A22 for the entries on the second row, and another guy, B. So that's B11, B12, B21, B22. So as we've seen, both matrices define a transformation of the plane. So both give us uh, maps from R2, the plane, to R2. So the question is, what happens if I do first the map associated to B, and then the map associated to A. What if we do uh, the transformation B? I'm just going to blur the distinction between uh, a transformation and the matrix associated to it. So the transformation B followed by transformation A. Okay, so the order is going to be important here, so I want to do this transformation first for B, and then the transformation for A. Okay, so what do we get? Well, we get a new transformation. And I'm going to call this new transformation AB. Um, so let's see what transformation AB is. So let's suppose I start with a matrix, uh, a vector XY, and I apply the matrix B. This gives me a new vector, uh, which I'm going to write. I'm going to leave a gap here because we're going to end up sticking A in here. Um, so what what is the answer here? It's B11x plus B12x plus B21x plus B22x plus B23x plus B24x plus B25x plus B26x plus B27x plus B28x plus B29x plus B30x plus B31x plus B32x plus B33x plus B34x plus B35x plus B36x plus B37x plus B38x plus B39x plus B40x plus B41x plus B42x plus B43x plus B44x plus B45x plus B46x plus B47x plus B48x plus B49x plus B50x plus B51x plus B52x plus B53x plus B54x plus B55x plus B56x plus B57x plus B58x plus B59x plus B60x plus B61x plus B62x plus B63x plus B64x plus B65x plus B66x plus B67x plus B68x plus B69x plus B70x plus B71x plus B72x plus B73x plus B74x plus B75x plus B76x plus B77x plus B78x plus B79x plus B80x plus B81x plus B82x plus B83x plus B84x plus B85x plus B86x plus B87x plus B88x plus B89x plus B90x plus B91x plus B92x plus B93x plus B94x plus B95x plus B96x plus B97x plus B98x plus B99x plus B10x plus B11x plus B12x plus B13x plus B14x plus B15x plus B16x plus B17x plus B18x plus B19x plus B20x plus B21x plus B22x plus B23x plus B24x plus B25x plus B26x plus B27x plus B28x plus B29x plus B30x plus B31x plus B32x plus B33x plus B34x plus B35x plus B36x plus B37x plus B38x plus B39x plus B40x plus B41x plus B42x plus B43x plus B44x plus B45x plus B46x plus B47x plus B48x plus B49x plus B50x plus B51x plus B52x plus B53x plus B54x plus B55x plus B56x plus B57x plus B58x plus B59x plus B60x plus B67x plus B68x plus B69x plus B70x plus B71x plus B72x plus B73x plus B74x plus B75x plus B76x plus B77x plus B78x plus B79x plus B80x plus B81x plus B82x plus B83x plus B84x plus B85x plus B86x plus B87x plus B88x plus B89x plus B90x plus B91x plus B92x plus B93x plus B94x plus B95x plus B96x plus B97x plus B98x plus B99x plus B10x plus B11x plus B12x plus B13x plus B14x plus B15x plus B16x plus B17x plus B18x plus B19x plus B20x plus B21x plus B22x plus B23x plus B24x plus B25x plus B26x plus B27x plus B28x plus B29x plus B30x plus B31x plus B32x plus B33x plus B34x plus B35x plus B36x plus B37x plus B38x plus B39x plus B40x plus B41x plus B42x plus B43x plus B44x plus B45x plus B46x plus B47x plus B48x plus B49x plus B50x plus B51x plus B52x plus B53x plus B54x plus B55x plus B56x plus B57x plus B58x plus B59x plus B60x plus B57x plus B58x plus B59x plus B60x plus B57x plus B58x plus B59x plus B60x plus B59x plus B60x 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 plus B
to 1x plus b to 2y. Phew. Okay, big ugly mess, but I assure you I'm going somewhere with this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply out all these brackets and then I'm going to group the terms that have an x in them and the terms that have a y in them. So I'm going to do that all in one step. So first of all, what's the coefficient of x in this top expression? Well, there's an a11, b11. And there's an a12, b21. And that's all times x. And what's the coefficient of y? It's a11, b12. And this second guy is a12, b22. I'm just going to tidy up that subscript there. Okay, so that's the first entry and the second entry. A21, B11. That's a coefficient of x and A22, B21. That's another coefficient of x. And the coefficients of y are A21, B12 over here and uh, A22, B22. Okay, what's the point of this? The point is this expression here, this vector down here, is again visibly the result of applying a matrix to a vector. What is the matrix? Well, it's the matrix whose entries are a11, b11, plus a12, b21, a11, b12, plus a12, b22, etc. It's these, these four numbers here. let's write that this whole thing is equal to this big matrix times xy okay Um, I guess you get the idea now. But let me finish anyway. Okay, so this matrix times xy. So there's a name for this matrix. This matrix, as I said up, up above, is called AB. Right, so given a matrix A and a matrix B, whose entries are these A11s, etc., and B11s, we end up with a matrix A, B, whose entries are this mess here. So we adopt this as our definition of matrix multiplication. This is what it means to multiply A and B. It means you get a new matrix, which is this. And you might be looking at this thinking, how on earth am I going to remember or where all the stupid indices go? One, 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 two. It's like I can't even guarantee I've got them right here. You can check and comment on it, but you know who knows. Well, let's um, let's have a look. There's a mnemonic for it in just the same way there was for multiplying a matrix into a vector. So um, let's have a look at this first entry here, A11, B11, plus A12, B21. If you look at it carefully, that's the same as multiplying this row of A into this column of B, in the same way we did 
when we defined the action of a matrix on a vector, right? We're doing A11, B11, plus A12, B21. And that gives you this. Similarly, this guy, the second expression here, is this first row, A11, A12, multiplied into the second column of B. So it's A11, B12, like this, plus A12, B22, which is this second term here. And the same works down here. This guy is the second row of A multiplied into the first column of B. That's A21, B11 plus A22, B21. And any guess as to what this is going to be, it, you know, it's going to be second column, uh, sorry, second row multiplied into the second column of B. So you don't actually have to remember anything new this is exactly what we did before, but instead of just doing one column at a time, we're doing all the columns of the matrix and recording them separately.